Hello, my beautiful, beautiful hunka hunka burn and loves the most beautiful bunch of poinsettias ever placed on any dinner table during the holiday season. How are you today? I am doing great. I have a present here that was sent to me by Miss Tina Marie Malinowski that I would like to open on camera per her request. And then we're going to get right into the video, okay? So if you don't want to watch, just fast forward. I will put the time where the art starts in the title up above. But let me see what I got. It is Christmas time after all. So Miss Tina sent me a beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful card. And she actually wrapped up the gifts that she made for me with little name tags. <laughs> I almost want to put it under my tree for Christmas morning, but she wants it on a video, so here we go. Let's see what it is. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I'm sorry, I won't sing anymore, I promise. So, Tina sent me a beautiful cardboard box. Nice and square. Nope. Rectangular shape. <laughs> I'm only joking, guys. Let me pause you and get a knife. Me and a knife, not so good. Okay. So, let's see what's in this. Tina loves to make me beautiful little gifts. Oh, that is so cool. It's a little demon cat. I bet you there's a name for this animal god right here. That is very cool. Very, very cool. And then we have one more. How beautiful. I love my kitty cats. I think I'll put a little uh, piece of magnetic strip on the back of that and make them a magnet. Thank you, Tina, very much. And then we have here something quite big. Wow, 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 wow. Now, I must have told Tina at one point that I love anything that has to do with Egypt and ancient Egyptian history. Because look at this. Oh, here we go. That is very pretty, Tina. The Pyramid of the Nile River. Is that not so, so cool? Very, very cool. Thank you so much, Tina. I love that. Absolutely love it. I'm going to put it in my case with my other stuff, which one day I will show you all. So next up. Tina does a very good job wrapping, Tina. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong place on the camera. For anybody that wants to film, you need to look at where your lens is when you film. Because if you look over this way, the wrong side, your eyes are going the wrong way the whole video. <laughs> uh, she made me a little jewelry box. How pretty is that? So, so pretty. I love the smell of stain and fresh wood very beautiful thank you tina and we have a couple more here i am so grateful for all of you gifts or not you know it's just been an, an amazing year and i'm really really grateful for you guys oh she sent me some more shells 
some big boys. I'm getting ready to do a resin piece, an ocean piece, so these will come in handy. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I will look them over better after the camera's off, but thank you so much, Tina. And I think there is one more thing. So very, very thoughtful. Thank you very, very much. Oh, a little plaque to match the jewelry box. Isn't that so sweet? And she signed the back and put the little hook on for me. That is amazing. Tina, thank you so very much for that. I also want to thank Robin and Teresa for the donations to the channel. You all are just, I'm at a loss for words. I really am. I just love you all. And thank you for dealing with my craziness. Okay. I, I promise <laughs> I'll try to straighten out a little bit. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll try anyway. Shall I show you a kitty before we go? I think you want to see a kitty. Hold on. Here he is the star of the show. I can't even fit him on the camera. He's so big. <laughs> okay. So with all that being said, and done. Let's get on with the show, shall we? Shall we, Clay? Hello, my most beautiful friends. How are you today? I am doing fantastic. So we're skipping around a little bit and we're gonna have some fun. I am going to make a geode themed resin tumbler. And I have, believe it or not, made one of these a long time ago and filmed it. It's way back in the timeline. I will try to remember to post it at the end of this video. But boy, have I come far. Let me just say that because that video, I had just started filming myself and... Uh, <laughs> I did not have the proper equipment to do this. Cup turned out beautiful nonetheless. I had to rig up some uh, things that you would not even believe. I actually have one I could show you really quick. This was my original cup turner. Are you ready? <laughs> a paint roller with a pair of my daughter's pants duct taped. It just goes to show if you want to do something really badly, you'll find a way to do it. And believe it or not, it worked great. I had it on a table in a vise and I had to spin it by hand every minute. It, it was just a nightmare, but the cup did come out okay. But I had made one mistake in that video and that was I had used the wrong spray paint and I will explain that more in the process as we go. But for now, I just want to jump right in. I have a tumbler here that has a nice lid that you drink out of. So you don't have to worry about your mouth coming in contact with any type of resin. And uh, so I have that. This is the tumbler. I got the, the spinny thing, the rotary, rotisserie machine at Hobby Lobby. Believe it or not. For 20 bucks. They had it on sale. Well, it was $39.99 plus the 40% off. I think it was to, it might have been only $34. All I know is it came to like $20 or $22. So you cannot beat that. Cup was nine bucks there. I bought it on a separate day because I'm a smart shopper and know you can't use two coupons at once, or at least they won't let me do it. So you know, that was $9.99 with 40% off. So it's not a very expensive thing to get into. Um, so the geode tumbler, how this works is we coat the entire tumbler in glue and glitter. We're going to let that dry. I'm just explaining the process to you because I'm going to do a lot of this in time lapse because it is a long project. So we're going to coat with the glue and the glitter 
let it dry. We are then going to spray paint three layers of spray paint over the glitter. So the first one may be white, let it dry. The second spray paint may be blue, let it dry. And then the last one will be black and let it dry. And then what you do is you come back in and you remove layers of spray paint exposing the glitter underneath. It's a really cool process. And like I said, it's going to be time lapse a lot of it because it's just repetitive stuff. But first what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my glitter concoction with you. I have a little piece of Yupo paper under here to catch the glitter so that I could dump it back into the cup. And I have a little bit of Mod Podge in here, but you can use Elmer's glue. You can probably even use spray adhesive. So I'm using Arteza glitters today. I love, love, love their glitters. Um, they come in a multi-pack. And they are just so sparkly, and there are so many different colors. Now, granted, they aren't very big in size, but for your average, everyday projects, I mean, I they're more than enough for me. I will link them in the description, um, and I also have a coupon for Arteza for 10% off. So... I'm just going to show you the colors really quick. I'm going with a uh, peacocky kind of thing. That did not sound right. Peacocky. Peacocky. <laughs> Fresh green. Aquamarine. And then sea green. I love, love, love this color. And then for blues, I have Night Sky. Hold on, I'm trying to line them up here. Night Sky. Um, what is this one? Just Holographic Blue. Holographic Blue, Night Sky, Egyptian Blue. What a cool name. And then... For my purples, because I'm going purple, blue, and green, I have holographic violet, which is really pretty. I hope you can see that. Plum purple and violet rose. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take them and dump them all into this cup. Probably only half of the container. about half, maybe a little bit less. So I'm just gonna dump them in there and mix them all together. They really are very pretty, these colors. Just wanna make sure that I have enough. So now I put too much of that one in there. <laughs> This is fun. This is fun. Glitter is always fun. Okay. So then I'll just take the end of my foam brush that I'm going to apply it with and just mix it around. Now I have this really cool, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. And if you feel like one color is too dominant or you need to brighten it up, then you can always add more of a lighter color. Like this violet rose. Now, obviously, I can't um, the leftovers of this. I'll use it for geode or something like that. But I just want to make sure I have enough, and that looks pretty good. But I do want it a little bit lighter. And there's not much of this left, so I'm just going to dump it all in there. 
Okay. So now we're going to go on to time lapse and you're just going to see me applying the Mod Podge and the glitter. That's it. So there you go. You saw me put the first layer of glitter down. And yes, I do my bottoms also. Um, what I will do now is I will let this spin for about an hour, let it dry, and then I will come back and possibly do a second layer, although this first layer covered really, really good. Um, but I need to have time to let it spin and all the loose ones fall off during that process you can see how pretty that looks there and you can see like as it's spinning like you're seeing like this white light going through here that's not the the silver underneath the uh tumbler that's my ring light that's um shining down onto it Let's see if i can get you down here Look at that sparkle, huh? That's a beautiful cup right there. We could stop right there and be happy. <laughs> but you know me. So we'll let it go. And we'll go on to the next step. Now, you see here I'm working on the new round Lole Vefe mat. If you didn't see uh, my last video, we now have them in round. Uh, two different sizes. One is 17 and a half inches wide. The other one is 23 and three quarters, I believe. It's 23 and at least a half, if not three quarters. And they are perfect for uh, 18 inch Lazy Susans. Um, if you have something bigger that you that you that's round that you pour on a round table work great for that too and I have a discount code for you guys for that too so we'll let this keep spinning and we'll come back okay so it's the next day I let it sit overnight not because it needed to just because I didn't have time to get back to it so it coated beautifully I'm not going to do another coat of glitter because it's perfectly covered so now I can move on to the next step which is going to be applying a very thin layer of resin and letting it cure. Now, how I'm going to be applying it is I found these little finger cots, which I have my little sausages rolled into. <laughs> and um, so I'm just gonna be putting it on and smearing it all over the cup, just a thin layer. You don't need much. You're just gonna wanna try to seal in that glitter so as far as the resin goes i am using ks resin this is my favorite resin of all time a it's food safe and because this is a cup we're going to use food safe resin um <clears throat> even though there's a lid i still like to use a food safe resin uh, as you can see zero vocs there's it says low odor. I don't smell anything. It has doming capabilities. It has added UV inhibitors. Um, you can see there. You can read for yourself. 45 plus minute working time. Usually I get an hour and 10 minutes, hour and 15 minutes. And believe me, even after that, I could still use it. It's very thick, but I can use it. The big thing I love about this is the price. It is. This one is $90 a gallon. 
with my discount, I believe it's 80, but they also offer free shipping and they have smaller sizes. So there is a link down below. Um, this can be compared to Stone Coat Art Coat, which I also use and love, but this one's a little cheaper. So that's where, why I uh, use this brand and it works just fine. So I have it all mixed up. I'm going to turn my little spinner on, maybe. And I'm going to link everything. I'll link one of these machines. They're not expensive at all, even on Amazon. I'll link the little finger uh, cuts. I'll link whatever I use here in this video, Tumblr, all of that, in my Amazon shop. So what you want to do is just pour some on and start rubbing it in, rubbing it on, rubbing it in. You want a nice, thin, even coat. You want to get the bottom. You can use a brush also to do this. You don't have to use your hands. It's just I feel like I can work better with my hands sometimes. And don't be alarmed. Some of the glitter will come off, but it's not coming off to the point where you're going to see the cup. So you just take your time, relax. You want to get right up to the edge there. We'll pour a little bit more on. And you're just going to continue on until you have the whole cup covered and you're going to leave the rotisserie turning and turning until, oh, uh, I would say at least five to six hours, depending on the resin that you're using. You want it to not be moving because if you shut this off and it's still movable the resin it's still liquidy it's going to cause drips so you really want to leave it on for a while and it's very quiet so you're only hearing listen you're only hearing that little bit because i have it on top of some things here if it's on a flat surface, it's really, really quiet. So we gotta get that bottom too. Now, after this is dry, I'm going to come back in and we're going to start the next part, which is spray painting the three layers of paint to cover this up. Now, if you don't want to make a geode style tumbler, then you could just coat this a couple of times and be done. That's it. Put a decal on it if you want to. What you're seeing right here is just how you coat it with the resin. So you can literally 
do an acrylic pour on a tumbler and then just stick it on here and just do the resin part if you want. You want to be very gentle right by the lip here because you don't want a ton of resin overflowing and getting onto the styrofoam um, cushion that's holding the cup. So just go very gently around the lip. like so and you'll be able to feel if it's coated because your hand will slide very easily and if it's not your you'll feel your hand snag on the glitter I'm getting close to done here see like right here I can tell it needs some. And actually, I'm just going to dump the rest of this out. Just like so. The excess will drip off. But at least I know now I have a really nice thick coat. Not thick, an evenly distributed coat. <laughs> and this resin is excellent about leveling out. Most are. But I really, really like this one. This is my favorite. And like I said, you can't beat the free shipping. That saves you 20 bucks alone. They have uh, smaller kits. You don't have to get a gallon. And as you can see, that was two ounces of resin. I probably, I probably could have got away with one ounce, one and a half ounces maybe. You don't need much to do a project like this. All right, so I think we're good. Now we're just going to leave it alone. I'm going to torch it really quick and then I'm going to leave it alone. I'm just watching the lip here because I see one little spot. And don't worry if you miss a little tiny spot because you are going to coat this again with resin after we create the geode patterns. So. There we go. Perfection. Perfection. So I'm going to take these little thingies off. You can just wear gloves. Yes. <laughs> I just saw these and said, oh, I'll give them a try. They're a little bit of a pain to get off, but especially when you have fat fingers like me. Came on. Well, that was a mess. Ugh. Maybe you shouldn't buy those. Just wear a glove. All right. Here we go. Just gonna torch really quick. You don't have to be too concerned with this layer because like I said, it's going to be covered anyway. You can also do this by the way with chunky glitter. You don't have to use fine like I did. Okay. So that's it for now. We'll come back when it's dry. All right, guys. So I'm outside. The cup is cured. And you can see it's just absolutely gorgeous all on its own. Beautiful finish. There's not one. Well, maybe there's one imperfection, but you won't see that in the end. 
Sorry about that. So now the next step is, believe it or not, to cover this beauty in spray paint. Three layers. Now I'm only going to show you the process for the first layer because the second two are exactly the same. So I'm going to cover the entire uh, cup with this Liquitex spray paint, titanium white. I'm going to hold the can 8 to 10 inches away and just cover the entire thing. So here we go. And I have to be quick because it's pretty cold out here. As soon as this is dry, I'm going to come back in and I'm going to spray a layer of gold and a layer of black. That's it. All right, guys. So it's about four hours later. I did all my layers of paint. I did a layer of white, a layer of gold, a layer of black. And then, I don't know if you can see it or not. I did a layer of color shift spray paint. Absolutely love this stuff. So it goes from purple to green. You can see the green right here, the purple right there. So it's really, really pretty. So now, two steps left and we're done. We're going to take some 100% acetone. You could get this at Walmart, um, your nail supply, beauty supply shops. You want 100% pure acetone. And... A soft rag I just used one of my grandson's old shirts and cut it up into little pieces you're gonna put on some gloves and you should be wearing a mask a respirator if you don't have good ventilation or you're sensitive to smells the same goes for resin I happen to do fine with both and I have good ventilation so I'm okay the way I am Yes, I know I should still be wearing something, but I choose not to. It's my prerogative. Um, so just take your bag. And what you want to do is saturate it with the uh, acetone. And you're going to rub on the cups, on the cup, the areas you want to expose the glitter to make it look like a geode. So, for example, let's say I want to come right here. Now this is gonna take a little elbow grease. You're gonna rub, 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 and keep rubbing until you break through to the glitter and resin layer. Just turn your rag every now and then to get a clean spot. You're gonna keep rubbing and rubbing. Again, it's gonna require elbow grease, but eventually you will start seeing that layer. Okay, and I'm not going to do this all on camera because it's going to take me a while, but I wanted to do one area with you to show you. And you're just going to go all around your cup doing this. You know, if you don't want the gold to be that thick, just... 
rub back a little further, let a little bit of the white show through. Um, you don't want it to be perfect because geodes are not perfect. Okay. So you're going to continue to do that until your cup looks the way you want it to look. Now, if you get smudging on here, don't worry because then you can take some rubbing alcohol and wipe that down and it should help with the smudging. Let's try it right now. Get a separate rag for the alcohol. And don't forget, we have to do the final coat of resin on here to make it nice and smooth. So this is 99% alcohol. Just take it and clean it up. It'll come right off. Okay. And so you'll get a spot like that. Okay. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to do this all over my cup in the areas that I want it to be exposed. And then I'll be back for the last step. Woohoo. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. She is done. Are you ready? I have the lid in. Absolutely. Beautiful. I like it a lot. And this is like a really strong, like good quality tumbler that I did it on. And with all the resin on it, it's really a, a hefty feeling tumbler. I just love it. Absolutely love it. So there you go. I have already went and put one of these in there. You can find these anywhere from $25 and up. So I went into my Amazon shop and put one of these in. I put in a tumbler. Uh, the tumblers are $10. I have to see if I can look around and find them cheaper at a wholesale price maybe. Because I would love to make a few more of these. But um, it's a lot of work. And I don't feel like I could sell it more than $30. I don't know if anybody would pay $40 for a cup. Um, but to make it worth it to make these, you at least want to double your money back. And I have... At least a twenty dollars. The cup alone was ten dollars. Then you factor in the glitter, the resin, the uh, spray paint, all of that. So I have at least twenty dollars worth of work into it. So I don't know, forty dollar cup maybe. You know, it's a custom cup. I know normally the tumblers that people make sell for thirty. So, but that's just you know. A layer of glitter and they, they slap a logo on it. So anyway. There's the $40 tumbler. <laughs> if anybody's interested in it, let me know. I wish you all. I, I hope you guys are all having a great day. Um, please, if you haven't already, click the like button. Check your subscription bell and make sure it's on all. Um... And I guess that's it. Oh, one more thing. My Facebook group. Come on over and join us if you haven't. It's called United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. Uh, Lisa Wyatt Art, who is a great friend, has a channel. And we started this group together. So we just hit 1,000 members. And we are so happy there are 1,000 quality members, very good people, and I hope to see you guys there. Um, and that link is below also. So until we meet again, my friends, happy pouring.